You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Thursday, March 17th, 2022. And as you might know, today is the Feast of St. Patrick or St. Patrick's Day. Now this week we're talking about the sin of envy, but we're going to pause today and hear the biography of St. Patrick because St. Patrick offers us some great examples of how if we let go of our own pride, if we really do acknowledge that everything I have, everything I accomplish is just simply to give more glory to God, then incredible things are possible. So St. Patrick was born in England, and he was born in 385. So this is right around the time when Christianity was no longer a crime. Christians weren't being killed in the Colosseum anymore. And instead, the Holy Roman Empire was promoting Christianity. But he lived in England. He was born into a Christian family. Unfortunately, when he was young, when he was 16, he was captured by Irish pirates. He was taken back to Ireland and he was forced to be a slave. At the time, Christianity has not come to Ireland yet. They were pagans. They worshiped all sorts of scary and weird gods, had a whole bunch of pagan practices. So he was there as a slave for many years. Finally, he had this dream And while he was there as a slave, he really deepened his faith. His suffering brought him very close to the heart of Jesus. Eventually, he had this dream. It directed him to a boat. He snuck away, got on the boat, and actually made it back home to England. So he got back, reunited with his family. He felt a calling to the priesthood. So he trained. He was ordained. He actually went onto the continent and studied with some other great saints in Europe. But all this time, he felt a calling to go back to Ireland. Now, don't take for granted how hard it must have been for him to listen and obey this calling. He had been a slave there. He knew that they had these dangerous and really scary religious practices. He knew he was just one person going there and they had some fierce, you know, tribal kings and stuff that he would be going up against. And yet he went, he obeyed. He said, I know that God is telling me to do this and I don't know better than God. I think it'd be really easy in that situation to be like, you know what, God, I think I know better than you. I think that that's a bad idea. But he didn't say that. He went back. So he went back to Ireland. And remember, at the time, Ireland was just basically tribal. It was a very dangerous place to go. And as a foreigner, he had no protection. He was beaten. He was robbed. He was put in chains. And yet he persisted, knowing that this was God's will. Now, there are many legends about what happened. Well, Patrick went through Ireland preaching. We hear that he used the shamrock to teach about the reality of the Trinity. There's also legend that St. Patrick cast all of the snakes out of Ireland because one bit him while he was doing a 40-day fast. Now, those things are legends, but we do know as truth that St. Patrick was successful in doing God's work, that the entire country was bought to Christ, that many monasteries were built, and that Ireland became a center of great faith for many, many centuries. Now, St. Patrick could have been very proud that he accomplished all of these things, but he knew that it was God's work, that God had called him here, that God cleared the way, and that God really did work on the hearts of these people and convert them. So that's the story of St. Patrick. I hope that you take some time to celebrate today. And let's remember that St. Patrick's story is a story of obedience, humility before God, and yeah, going where God tells you to go. And so let's all pray through the intercession of St. Patrick today that we too can be obedient, that we can be brave, that we can leave our pride behind and humbly obey following where God leads. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. 
We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Hey friends, I hope that you are having a beautiful and fruitful Lent. I'd like to invite you to add the Stations of the Cross to your family's Lenten experience, especially during Holy Week. We offer a beautiful, family-friendly Stations of the Cross book, which has been very popular. If you would like to grab a copy for your family, we would love for you to do that. Our supplies are limited and we expect to run out. So head on over to the show notes, follow the link, and grab a copy for your family. This show is a production of the Spoke Street Media Podcast Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.